Sounds like a grave feeling of something. What's that if I'd ask? Spring break is in one week. Yeah! I'm excited, because me and my friends are going to the Granging Gaming Club, and their new, party freaking room. Ha ho 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 yes. This is a way to start off spring break man. I've never been to the place ever in my life. Now to celebrate, time for a great breeze and walk. Great. Not so. Why does it have to rain on the spring day? Screw this crap I'm going in. What the hell? What? Wait, whoa, well, why the? When have we ever had horns in our complex? Hey, scrap. Now, go for another plate of grass. We're not a pet center. You live on the grass. If you go anywhere from there, and just stay there, why come to me when you're just as fine where you are? Maybe they were trying to get rid of you because you're a worm. They're meant to be outside. You define that they aren't coming in my property. My family would scream. Look now. I'm not going to get into any trouble because of you, okay? I might like, feel sorry, I guess. But you've got to find some other way to pack into a den or something. Pretty sure not. But 40 seconds, you're automatically out of here. Oh, I'm making a bad choice now, aren't I? Where is this horn supposed to stay? I can't keep him here forever. He'll dirty up this house. Then I'll get a mega bust. So far, this worm hasn't caused any harm. So it isn't like the best of the bad can come. Buddy what's up man? Just came by, and saw you got this cool rainbow rare worm that you got lurking in your home. Hey no no. Why are you playing with a ferris worm? Kalu, I'm not supposed to have him. Come to think of it, I'd never seen colorful worms such as these. What did you and the worm did? Oh, where do you find this little cool colorful looking SWRELL? If you show it to my dad, I'll beat your ass and place you in the grass with that worm. What it is just a worm it does have harm. You're freaking out dude. All I was doing is just giving the little guy a tour of your house. Kalu. You can't show it around my house. This worm is meant to be outside. Kalu, I want you to get rid of that worm and don't let it back inside. No. And here is Darren's abandoned house arcade he had. And now all of a sudden, he trashed it and now it's an empty basement now. He must had been filled with money. Why did he sell it? I want to see games. I want it to be a pro gummer one day. Well, the place I'd go to has games and all the fun you get to roll your mind into. Yeah, that is where you will one day try your first ever game to test your skill. Kalu, what the hell? Why are you in my basement? You need to leave. No one is allowed to look. So I do have a question about your home arcade. Why did you take it down? You like gave it all up. It's nothing but an empty lot. Did you not like it? Why is it abandoned it? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Now that you're in here, and now I want to know why I got rid of this place. There's something about it that we got sued for. What? You got sued? Dude, tell us everything. Saturday, October 11th, 2020, my dad got a notice from the mail. It was from our landlord. All of our neighbors next to us were very upset. I went a bit too wild. I apparently was a rich YouTuber. You know my channel. Darn fantastic. I began my YouTube career in 2018. Wait, you started YouTube in 2018. I thought it was 2017 or earlier than that. Kalu, I was too young. I wasn't still liable for YouTube until I got older. 
I was still a young teen. I made my choice to wait two more years, then, first release. The first half of the start of my YouTube career was doing gaming videos. I played Xbox and Nintendo Switch, those were times when school was in session. I didn't play it ever since, because I was so busy with my life. That time also my brother needed to go to TT Dentist because he caught some cavatis and had to get it checked out. January 2019 was when I was gonna grow my future with YouTube. I did so many different things. Someone came in one time and paid me with $2 million for becoming famous. So you got money for becoming famous with your YouTube career. I didn't know that. You never told us that. Because I've never been to your arcade. Now that explains why it was a dump from the back. Then I saw that sign. We just left it rotting on the floor because we didn't know what to do with it. The world was on a lockdown because of the pandemic. We were not sure if there was someone who could have wanted it for a brand new business, so everything was just left broken and abandoned. Dead. I did become indeed famous after that. But there had to be a reason I had to take down the arcade. Four years ago, this started changing everything. <laughs> You really have outdid yourself. You are the most famous of them all. This arcade is here to stay as long as possible. Hopefully for a decade. Oh, boss, I hope this is not a bad time. Something important came in the mail. Oh, mail. Duh. Well, tonight was. I was getting preparations ready for Moody Night. I don't really have enough time to go to time with mail at the moment. You got this small note, and it is from your landlord. And he said something about the suit. Dude, what did I do wrong? Here just, read it. I'm sure you'll know, why you might be, in Mega Debut. Here I'll take a look. Says to the Darren Charles residents, This note is to inform you that you are abusing other residents within or without contact. Infinite loud noises. Invading private property to others, starting a big business without a business license, and large gatherings of big parties. Okay, first of all, I did not start a big gathering. I only included 15 people. I know the drill with this lockdown. This says you are making other neighbors feel unsatisfied in their homes with your loud big arcade. If nothing is done about it, you are evicted. Hold up. Evicted. Duh. Can you excuse me? Okay, Darren. We need to discuss about what we have to get done. And about, this arcade of yours. Yes I read the note. Our neighbors are upset at us. Do you think, my arcade, is, too, loud? People are having, some fun. Well the size of this is pretty big and it's almost treated like a full business I can hardly help you run. And this is a lot since there's only two of your workers helping. And that's why I am getting rid of it. What? You're closing my arcade down? You, you can do that dad. I went so far into getting big. Now don't you do that. Darren the neighbors are suing us for loud compliance. This is absolutely too much, and there's not enough people to run the place. I know this was your dream business and I'm proud of you for the hard work you do at school and on YouTube. But our landlord does not want this. But I wish you'd told me about doing all this because this is our house. Bunch of strangers lurked in and some of them went in rooms they weren't supposed to go to. I will always be okay with you starting your own arcade business, but not in our house. Understand? I had no other choice. In order to prevent getting sued, I had to take down all of it. I went too wild over my success in life. Dang man, we're sorry for you. But I guess your neighbors were pretty upset. I wish I came before you got that notice. Now can the worm stay for a little before we have to force it outside? Maybe for two minutes, then it's gone. 